and citric acid. Ceviche is perfect warm weather food. The secret to ceviche is using the best fish you can find. Okay, what can we get? Here in Louisville, Anthony always seems to get his hands on the best of the best. But I, I'm really picky about what I get. I want the best. He gets the best fish thanks to some good connections in the seafood business and UPS. We have the largest UPS hub in the country, so we're able to get stuff flown in next day. So, you know, I'm talking to a guy, and he's like, well, they just called on the boat. They're coming in. They caught some really beautiful, uh, you know, um, tuna, and uh, how much do you want? Uh, you know, I say, send me 60 pounds for the weekend. The catch of the day today is line called wild halibut. Halibut, Pacific halibut. And just wait until you see what he does with it. My sous chef Adam's going to break down some wild uh, halibut. As you can see how very pretty the flesh is and wonderful and white. We pin bone it before we do all this, so no bones in there. And it's always fresh, never frozen. So first of all, main component, some fresh citrus. Oranges, limes, lemons, in most cases, it's going to be the, the lime. So we're just going to squeeze our limes. You have one of these little guys you can buy at the Latino store or, or some of the uh, catalogs. These will make your life easier. And this way, by using a squeezer like this, you're going to get all the uh, oils and the, uh, the juice as well. And the oils is where most of your flavor comes from. The oranges will squeeze by hand. So in this case, this is going to be a Chipotle orange ginger broth. We're going to simply put our nice halibut. We prefer the, the Asian knives. The type of steel, the way they're made are amazing. It's, it's going to slice real nice. See how you can get that real? You just want your knife to do the work. We're doing little slivers. We'll just go ahead and throw those little slivers in there as well. Okay, this is going to take about an hour to cook. Um, as you see it right now, and within minutes, it's going to start to cook. And you can see it kind of turning white already. Do you see that? Already turning. It went from translucent to starting to, the citrus just starts to cook. It's a natural cooking. And how ceviche started was these fishermen would be out on the boats and they would catch so much fish. By the time they got back to land, some of the fish was going bad. So they're like, we well, yeah, need to preserve this somehow. They started squeezing citrus over it. By the time they got back to land, it was cooked. They're like, what the heck happened to my fish? Picked it up and it's like it was cooked. And so that's kind of how it was originated. Start off as a per preserving agent. We're gonna start adding our flavoring components. In this case, I have some chipotle chili, which is simply a smoked jalapeno with a little bit of garlic. So I'm gonna put a little chipotle in there. We have some fresh ginger, a little fresh ginger. I like the clean taste of Malden salt, or if you can get sea salt, so you can get some flavored sea salt. A Malden salt is a purest form of salt. Uh, all naturally done, it's organic. Uh, very flaky, as you can see that. It is just beautiful. I, I highly recommend it. So a little molden salt. After this has been cooking, and once again, you see it just turning, and you see like this little sliver right here, that is just nothing but love. That is flavor, <laughs> and that just goes into my mouth. Mm. So now we have some that's been marinated. You see how that's fully kind of... That is the halibut. That is the It's the same one we're doing. This is just one that's been marinating for a couple hours. So once we've done that, we're going to simply take all that juice, put it right in there, because that's the exciting part. It's all that flavor. We're going to put, garnish it with a little bit of our fresh pico de gallo. So we'll throw a little, little jicama slivers on there, because I like the texture. Kind of a cross between green apple and a potato. And then some beautiful Kentucky proud local pea sprouts. These are pea sprouts that grow off the snow peas or the, um, the fresh peas. These are sprouts that come off them. When you bite into these, it's very sweet and you get that sugar snap kind of flavor. And we like to throw all them just for the sweetness and a little garnish. And there you have it, a very simple, quick halibut ceviche, chipotle orange ginger broth. It's amazing to me that the chef can cook the food with nothing but citrus. I know, it's kind of crazy. Not only is the taste amazing, but the texture is really amazing as well. If you haven't tried it, you have to get to ceviche. Yeah, or maybe you can try it yourself at home now that you know the secrets. And if you like to make chili at home, you've got to see ceviche's Latino take on it. It's a classic Brazilian dish with a Kentucky twist. We're going to share the secrets to that when Secrets of Louisville Chefs returns.
Welcome back to Secrets of Louisville Chefs, where this time we're getting a nice taste of Latino fusion cuisine at Ceviche. I'm Kevin Harnett, along with Kelly K. Kelly, how is that mojito? What mojito? Oh. <laughs> I guess that answers the question. Looks like it's time for another. Um, yeah, and maybe some more food. Hello. We've sampled some amazing food already, from fresh halibut ceviche to fish tacos, all the creations of Chef Anthony Lamas. Anthony has Latino fusion in his blood. His parents are from Puerto Rico and Mexico, and he grew up in Southern California. So you might be asking, how does a guy like that end up as one of Louisville's top chefs? I guess the answer to that would be blame it on a girl. I met a Kentucky girl in San Diego. We, I was eating fish tacos at this little fish stand. I saw this little Kentucky girl, asked her if she wanted a fish taco, and from there it was, that was it. What luck for us, because without that girl, Louisville may never have had the pleasure of eating Anthony's very unique Nuevo Latino food, which is truly culinary art. We've done lobster, um, lobster tacos with like a mango habanero salsa. We've done ahi tuna with wasabi tomatillo salsa. You know, you can really get creative. And if you want something meaty and hearty, you've got to try this. Feijoada, hard to say, easy to eat. Feijoada is a Brazilian, Brazilian dish. Kind of what chili is to the south, feijoada is to the Brazilians. Traditionally, is they would break down their steers and their hogs, and whatever was left over, they'd take their prime cuts. You might have the head, the ears, the lips, the tongue. They would throw this in with some black beans and cook it all day long and let it simmer. We don't use all the tongue and the ears and the lips. Okay, we're not gonna get away with it, I don't think, here. You use prime beef tenderloin, a locally raised, Creekstone Farms, another raised with care, heritage pork or Nyman Ranch pork, all organic, free range. So it's our version, but a modern version and more approachable. Oh, there's a little Kentucky in this feijoada too, I'll tell you about that. Pork scraps here. We have some chorizo which is a uh, Latin sausage. There's all kinds of forms of chorizo. So you have Portuguese, Spanish, Mexican, different forms. These were done in the casing. We just simply took it out because we want it ground and we're gonna flavor it. So we're gonna throw the chorizo in there. Basically, you just wanna sear it real good, get all that coloring, sear the meat. This is prime beef. We use only prime beef. And once we make our fillets, we take the trimmings, cut them up, some beautiful prime beef. Smell that already? All that just flavors there. Mm. And we gotta throw a little Kentucky in there so we have some country ham. We have Kentucky Brazilian feijoada. So some nice uh, country ham. We're gonna throw in some onion and garlic and some bay leaves. That goes right in there. Secrets of Louisville Chefs, secret seasoning. Okay, this is my dry adobo, house-made adobo. Um, cumin, achiote, which we talked about earlier coriander, aji amarillo, which is a uh, chili from Peru. So we're gonna throw that in there, and that's gonna be the, the seasonings. Throwing our beans in there, black beans, beef stock. Okay, it's just simply some bones cooked down, mirepoix. We're gonna throw that right in there. And what's so great about this is, you turn it all on low, you walk away for a few hours, having in a pot. Traditionally, uh, feijoada is always served with some type of greens, some type of salsa, uh, and rice. Sous Chef Burris, what he did is he uh, took some uh, wild greens that are done locally, or grown locally here from Hart County. He had a little bit of garlic, white pepper, and uh, oregano. Just simply saute those, and that's just a little garnish. We start off with our, our rice. We top it with our feijoada, which is the beans and meat. And then we just top it with some uh, wild greens, locally grown in Hart County. And then we just simply put a little salsa around it and a little demi glaze around it. There we have it. Our Brazilian feijoada. Feijoada, like you said, hard to say, easy to eat. I tell you what, this has been great. Not only has the food been tasty, but we learned a lot of secrets. First, fish tacos that put a whole new twist on taco night at home, and now Brazilian chili for a new spin on tailgating for those lazy Sundays at home. Once again, thanks to Chef Anthony for the secrets, to the folks for the fine service, and of course to you for watching. A reminder, you can get more secrets online at newlocaltv.com, as well as programming information and a complete local restaurant guide. For Kelly Kay, I'm Kevin Harnett. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs.
I'm Anthony Lamas with Ceviche. Thanks for watching Secrets of Louisville Chefs.